This is question 101. We are given the information and the last line tells us calculate working capital turnover ratio. Now put the formula get the answer. Answer 101. Working notes. Gross profit is equal to cost of revenue from operations multiplied by 25%. It is written. Gross profit is 25% on cost. That means cost of revenue from operations. And gross profit is given. Hence, gross profit is given to us rupees 5 lakhs is equal to cost of revenue from operations multiplied by 1 by 4. If we cross multiply, then cost of revenue from operations will be rupees 20 lakhs. Now, revenue from operations is equal to cost of revenue from operations plus gross profit. That equal to rupees 20 lakhs plus rupees 5 lakh gross profit that is equal to 25 lakhs is the revenue from operations. Now, in the working capital again, we are continuing with the working capital. Working capital is equal to, in the working notes, working capital is equal to current asset minus current liabilities. But here, it is not given to us what is working capital. Hence, out of the total of liability side, if we will deduct fixed assets, we can get working capital. Hence, equity share capital plus reserve fund surplus plus long term loans minus fixed asset. We are not considering not total of liability side. We are not considering current liabilities and it is not required. All of the liability side amounts except current liabilities and asset sides fixed assets if deducted and it is assumed there was no investments then we will be getting working capital that is equal to rupees 10 lakhs plus rupees 2 lakhs plus rupees 3 lakhs minus rupees 10 lakhs that is rupees 5 lakhs now your fair notes that is working capital turnover ratio is equal to revenue from operations upon working capital that is equal to rupees 25 lakhs upon rupees 5 lakhs is equal to 5 times and this is the final answer.